The clamp function in GameMaker is used to keep a value within a certain range. This function has quite a few useful applications, and we'll take a look at a few of them here. This function takes three arguments. The first argument is the value you'd like to clamp. The second argument is the minimum desired value. And the third argument is the maximum desired value. When used, this function returns a value within the range you specified. A common mistake people make when using the clamp function is that they don't actually do anything with the return value. Simply running this function by itself won't actually clamp anything. It just returns a value to you within the range you specified. If you wanted to clamp the value of x, as shown here, you need to set x equal to the value that this function returns, like so. One use for the clamp function is to keep an object, like your character for example, inside a room. In this first line, we've taken the player's x value and clamped it to within a range of 0 all the way to the room's width. We then do the same thing to the player's y value, only swapping out the width for the height. You can see here that the player no longer moves outside the room, but there's this weird jittery motion when he stops moving. This can be fixed by moving the clamp code to the end step event. Here's another example of where you can use the clamp function. Our player is accelerating due to gravity. We don't have any sort of limit set to his vertical speed, so he will never stop accelerating. This can lead to all sorts of problems if left unchecked, so let's fix that. I'm using the built-in gravity and speed variables here, so we're working with the vSpeed variable. Let's apply a clamp to vSpeed. We need to supply both minimum and maximum values so we'll be clamping both the downward speed and the upward speed. We'll apply a clamp to vSpeed with a range of negative 10 to positive 10. This will ensure that the player won't be able to infinitely gain speed. This is better, but by the time the frame ends, vSpeed is already back up to 10.5, so we need to go ahead and move the clamp code to the end step event to prevent this. The player now stops accelerating after their vSpeed hits 10, if we reverse gravity, you can see the minimum value of the clamp also works here. The player stops accelerating at a vSpeed value of negative 10. That's basically everything there is to the clamp function. It's pretty simple, but there's a lot of useful applications for it. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you could still use more help, there's a link to the official manuals page for this function in the description.